Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to be explaining how you can have a car basically for free. Now of course nothing is truly free, but what I'm going to describe in this video is how you could have a Nissan LEAF or a different electric vehicle depending on its cost at no additional cost to what you're already paying. So let me explain how this works and basically it all comes down to one very simple equation. Uh, the monthly cost of the electric vehicle or the lease payment divided by uh, in parentheses here, we've got the cost per mile of gasoline uh, of your current car minus the cost per mile of electricity for uh, your electric vehicle. Divide that by the days in a year divided by 12. That will make this into, um, this will give you an output of miles per day. And so what that miles per day is telling you is, say this number is 50. Well, if you drive more than 50 miles in a day, then you could potentially pay nothing extra by buying a Nissan LEAF than using your current vehicle. So let me explain how this works. Okay, first off our assumption, step one, uh, a Nissan LEAF. I looked up some prices around the area and basically I didn't go with the lowest possible price but a, a reasonable price. So we've got $3,600 down and $80 a month and this lease is for 24 months. So if you do 80 plus 3,600 divided by 24 to get that into a monthly payment basically, this is gonna be a total cost of $230 per month. Now this is the Nissan Leaf SV, so the middle class one, so it is gonna be a little bit more expensive than the cheapest version, which means at the end of the day, um, you could do even better than what I describe in this video. Okay, we're gonna go with the assumption that gas is $4 per gallon, which could be high for some of you, it could be low for some of you, so regardless, uh, that variable could change and you can do the math uh, for yourself if you want to change that a little bit. Electricity, 11 cents per kilowatt hour, also kind of a high estimate for me, but for some people that may be uh, too cheap. So the first thing we need is the cost per mile uh, of the gasoline car. This is extremely simple to obtain. You know what the cost per gallon is. You just look at a gas station and it says it in huge numbers. Um, so we're going with $4 a gallon. And you probably know what your miles per gallon are for your vehicle. So if not, you can just look at an EPA rating and find that out. So the cost per mile of a 20 mile per gallon vehicle, 4 divided by 20, 20 cents per mile. Okay, 20 miles per gallon isn't that great, but it is a reality today. So anyways, step three, we need the cost per mile of the electric vehicle. And this is a little bit more complicated than simply the gas car. So... Basically, what you need to do is find out the cost to charge the entire vehicle and its range. You divide that cost of the charge divided by its range, and that will give you the cost per mile. So, the cost to charge uh, a Nissan LEAF, well, we've got 11 cents per kilowatt hour. The Nissan LEAF has a 24 kilowatt hour battery, and we're going to assume that the charging occurs with 90% efficiency. So, 90% of the energy you put into charging that battery is actually successfully charging that battery. So 11 times 24 divided by 90, that gives us $2.93 to charge the vehicle, which is pretty awesome when you think about it, just $3 to fill up your, your Nissan LEAF. Um, the range is about 75 miles. So 293 divided by 75, you have a cost per mile of about 4 cents. Okay, here's where we get to the fun part. Cost per month. Okay, so you, the electric cost per month is going to be $230. Uh, that's your lease, plus four cents for every mile you drive in that month. Your gas cost is going to be, assuming that you have no payment, that's how uh, we get this vehicle to be free, is the fact that you're only paying for gas. And that's the only difference. You're not paying for your car payment because if we included a car payment, uh, an electric car would come out way ahead. And that's not really what we're trying to figure out. We're trying to figure out how you can get a car for no additional cost. Okay, so cost per mile times the number of miles you drive in a month. And that will give you your cost per month. Very simple. All right, so let's set these two equations equal. Okay, and what that will do is give us the miles uh, per month that we have to drive in order for uh, the Nissan leave value proposition to work out. So 230 plus the miles per month times four cents equal to miles you drive in a month divided by your current, four dollars divided by your current car's mile per gallon. Okay, so we're gonna move all of this over to the other side. So that's gonna give us 230 equals the miles per month times this, uh, this here, 
minus this here. Alright, great. So the miles per month that we have to drive in order to have this car be free, no additional cost, 230 divided by, so we're just going to move this over here, 230 divided by 4 divided by your current car's mile per gallon, minus 4 cents uh, per mile for the electric vehicle. Okay, so if you plug in the current mile per gallon for your car, this will give you the miles in a month that you drive. And so what we do here is we're going to go with our example of 20 miles per gallon. So if your car gets 20 miles per gallon, you plug that in there. The miles per month you need to drive is equal to 230 divided by 0.2 minus 0.04. We're going to convert this into miles per day because most people probably know how many miles they drive in a day. They may not know how many miles they drive in a month. So miles per day, you just take this number, the miles per month, and divide it by the number of days in a month. So number of days in a month, 365 divided by 12. Okay, so that gives you 47 miles. So what that means is if you drive 47 miles or more per day, which is a lot, granted, then if you purchase a Nissan LEAF and you drive those same amount of miles, even with the cost of the lease, you will not be paying any more per month. Now, one thing to take in mind when using this equation is it assumes you never run out of battery charge. So if this number here is greater than 75 and you actually drive greater than 75, well, you need to take into consideration that you're going to have to charge that during the day. So say this number was 100. Well, say you have a 50 mile commute to work. Hopefully not, but some people do. 50 miles to work, you get there, you charge your car, and you've got 50 miles back. Well, that could work out if you can charge your car while it's at work. But you need to keep that in mind uh, for your own personal consideration. So we're going to look at a graph so you can see where your car lines up and how many miles per day you would have to drive in order for your Nissan LEAF to be no additional cost. Okay, so what we've got here is a graphical representation of the minimum miles per day that you would need to drive in order for the car to be free or essentially free. So on the bottom axis we've got the miles per gallon of your current vehicle and on the left hand axis we've got uh, the miles that you drive in a single day. So this line here represents the cutoff line of the minimum miles per day in order for this car to be free or basically no extra cost. So if your vehicle, for example, we did 20, gets uh, 20 miles per gallon then it's going to be about 47, as you see here, miles per day that you need to drive or more in order for it to come at no additional cost. Now, of course, the LEAF doesn't have an unlimited range. It's about 75 to 80 miles. So here, when you punch in, uh, this is basically the optimum zone where you would only have to charge the car once per day and you would still be getting the car for free if you fall in this category of less than 30 miles per gallon and your miles per day are greater than uh, this curve right here. So you guys can check out this graph, kind of point out where your car is and figure out if it's actually something that could be feasible for you to do.